Hi gang, this is uh, Mike G from Mr G TV and this is my point of view, pointing the camera out as I drive around Hill here and I've just been to my mate's house, the Viking Johan, who's coming back to Iceland 1st of May, same as I'm coming back to the UK 1st of May. So what's your point of view? How is life treating you? Is life being good to you? And if it isn't, what are you doing about it? I always say that the world should come from you and not at you. If it's coming at you, you'll be ducking and diving and reacting. But that's no good. So this is um, a Monday now and it's quiet. Look, it's quiet. Although there's some big trucks like mine, I've got a big pickup. 3.2 turbo diesel I'm on soy 8 at the back of soy 88 soy's road look at all these wonderful shops left and right this will be buzzing tonight um, look at that chimney coming out of that guy roasting chestnuts I mean you could stop at any one of these shops go to any one of these cafes any one of these little businesses and absolutely fill your boots that's a great northern expression which means you just have a great time looking around anything that's here this is such a colorful noisy dirty busy interesting spiritual fun place but having said that I can't wait to get back to the UK to be amongst my friends and family and loved ones and catch up so I started off by saying how are you is life coming at you or is life coming from you at the moment just about everything is coming at you they literally throw in lots of shit at us aren't they you know look at this guy this is a phalang on a bike in front you see him signaling right but going straight on no helmet, flip-flops, no protection. Love him. He is a projection of me <laughs> in the oneness. That's another metaphysical conversation. And that's happening in front of me to teach me never to do what he's doing. Because if he comes off that, he's gonna want script skin grafts. There's nothing worse than gravel rash. And it only takes a dog or a wild boar or something to jump out at him or another driver who equally hasn't passed the test no insurance flip-flops and no helmets and he's off his bike and that'll spoil his day in every possible way so when I see something like that I thank the universe I don't criticize it I take the lesson it's a real powerful way of perceiving everything external to you that it's there to teach you a lesson rather than judging it criticizing it and calling the situation stupid or the person stupid just thank them for teaching you the lesson so I'm trying to get past this guy now and there I go clear road ahead so when I see something that's crazy and trust me pretty much everything is crazy in Thailand there's the expression which is quite funny, which is called tit. And we all know what a tit is, don't we? Well, it's a bird. <laughs> Got you there. Tit is, this is Thailand. It's an acronym. This is Thailand, tit. The Thais have an expression, only Thailand. When you ask for something and they say, we do it this way, or you don't worry about it, my pen lie, no problem. You know, you go to do something and you haven't got the paperwork, you haven't got the right money, you... My pen line, no problem. Come, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. Nothing's a problem in Thailand. Well, not with the people. The government, that's a different story. Governments in all countries are governing your mentality. But I'm talking about the people. I don't believe that the government represents the people at all, on any level. So when you look at a country 
and the regime and the system and the awkwardness possibly of uh, regulations, legislations, that has nothing to do with the people. You can go to India, you can go to Japan, you can go to Ukraine, Yugoslavia, Croatia, America, Europe, England, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, people are people. The rules that are divisive to dividers are made by governments that were trying to govern your mentality. This is what I say, don't let that come at you. Take control of that. Don't react to that, stop being reactive. Stop being manipulated. See beyond that bullshit. When you see that bullshit, or any shit, shift. Put an F in shit, S-H-I-T, shit. S-H-I-F-T, shift. So when I see something that's a bit shit, when the shit hits the fan in my life, or somebody tries to throw shit at me, I shift. I shift into the best version of me to deal with what's going on. And the correction is normally one inside myself. I have to realign. I have this expression, realign to the divine. Realign to my higher self. Don't come from my lower self. Don't allow myself to become an animal and react on primeval animal instincts, which are fight, flight, or freeze, the three Fs. Three Fs, flight, run away from it, be scared of it, which is what's going on at the moment. They're trying to put you into fear with all the jabberoony and the legislation, the lockdowns, the wars, the financial crisis, the food crisis, energy crisis. Oh my God, crisis, 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 chaos, 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 fear, fear, fear. No, don't go into fear, don't go into flight. Ultimate flight is suicide and in my industry, there's lots of people who I'm helping who have got dark thoughts of suicide and self-harm. Shame on all governments that are putting their population in what's supposed to be a democracy into fear so that people are just switching off, which is called cognitive dissidence and considering suicide has to become bankrupt for no reason whatsoever in my opinion but that's another conversation and then some people just freeze which is cognitive dissidence they go into zombie mode lots of people walking around and over in the past you haven't been able to see the mouths because they've been muzzled that's all I'm going to say you know what I mean and all you can see is dark eyes, frowns, hopefully now with things temporarily being lifted, freedoms temporarily in my opinion being restored, people are starting to smile again, but you should never stop smiling, they're smiling because things on the outside are returning to normal, but forget what's on the outside, that again is allowing the world to come at you, that you've got this belief system that when things are okay, that you're okay and when things on the outside aren't going well it feels like hell well you need to stop being that reactive you need to be independent of external triggers people situations world events local events even the disasters that go on in your life when your wi-fi stops where you can't get on your banking app or your next door neighbour disrespects you or somebody puts you down or something goes wrong or you make a mistake yourself. None of that's important. None of that's important. All right, you might not be grinning your head off, but you don't have to go into the depths of despair or anger or... You just have to be with it and get through it. There's a lovely expression, which is when you're going through hell, keep going. When you're going through hell, keep going. This is Soy 88, but I'm on now. I've actually got two shops on this road. One's a massage shop, a chiropractor, and the other one is a restaurant, but the restaurant never really opened. 
because of Covid and then coming back to the UK it just seemed like a bad idea to even invest in it so the restaurant's up for sale but the um, the massage shops are going concern and now tourists are returning and people are allowed to come out and the restrictions have been lifted with bodily contact the massage shop is working again now to some degree although there was three girls in there at one time but there's not now there's just one person because that serves the demand so this is soy 88 the chinatown on the right hand side but again that was built pre-covid and there's very few chinese people coming over at the moment literally from may the 1st regulations have shifted which is why i got the first flight on may the 3rd landing on may the 4th in heathrow so freeze can be a primeval response that's a reaction to external influences or your own internal thoughts you can freeze you can lock up it's called homeostasis where you go nowhere and you're in a rut nothing worse than a rut a rut's like a grave with the ends kicked out a rut is like a grave with the ends kicked out there's no growth in a rut and then of course the last F you've got flight caused by fear you've got freeze caused by fear and then you've got fight caused by fear all F's and a lot of people get angry with themselves they beat themselves up self-destructive unhelpful devaluing thoughts about themselves and others an ultimate fight would be fisticuffs kicking, punching, biting wrestling with somebody or a legal fight or an emotional fight well there's no room for any of that in my life and hopefully you've not got that going on in your life and if you have get a grip of it get control of it access your higher self because it's all instigated by governments who are governing your mentality and everybody as I said in whatever country whatever culture whatever nation whatever part of the world we're all the same we live on a round planet despite the flat earthers and on a round planet you shouldn't take sides on a round planet you shouldn't take sides it's the government that make us take sides we're taught at school to compete league tables top of the class bottom of the class and it carries on in work micromanaged you have performance reviews all divisive to control you to pigeonhole you to put you in a box don't live in a box if you're living in a box it's a self-created prison with no bars and you can release yourself from all that that's what mr gtv is all about to give you a soundbite of your potentiality to fly and to be free there's two wonderful f's not freeze not fight not flight to fly and be free to be unlimited to be uninhibited because that's how you're born free and uninhibited and all fears are learnt we're only born with two fears one is loud noises and the other one is being dropped everything else is learnt and you can unlearn it so if the world is coming at you and not from you, you're going to be ducking and diving, going into flight, flight and freeze. And basically, the world and everybody in it will be able to push your buttons. And trust me, you'll know people who've learned enough about you. They know how to push your buttons, particularly those near and dear to you, because they've observed you and they've seen you reacting. So they know what triggers you. They know how to push your buttons. Take the remote control off them and push your own buttons. I have a process actually where 
I say that life is in your own hands. Take control of your life, it's in your hands. If you haven't noticed, you've got four fingers and a thumb. And each finger represents a different aspect of you. You've got a physical finger, an emotional finger, a mental finger, and a spiritual finger. And what I do, I, I install apps. Emotional and mental control techniques attached to each finger, programs bespoke for you, depending on what triggers you, what pushes your buttons, and who you want to be, what you want to do, what you want to have, and I give you the control, you've got a right hand and a left hand, so you've got eight buttons potentially, you can connect your first finger to your thumb, your second finger to your thumb, your first finger to your thumb, your little finger to your thumb on both hands, and install an app, a hypnotic program, and with repetition, and emotional and mental coaching programming, which is what I do, you can literally install software that you've got at your fingertips, literally, in your own hands, to get control of yourself. If you've got a personality or a attitude or a, a fear, a phobia, that you want deleting, we can do that. And if you've got something you want installing, confidence, better communication techniques, health and energy, mental agility, focus, emotional resilience, better memory, better metabolism, better immunity. more creativity we can install that as well and it works I've got testimonies from hundreds of clients and thousands of students and NLP hypnosis hypnotherapy works it works straight away I always say that if I don't change you I don't charge you if I don't fix you there's no fee but the beauty of it is a lot of it is there for free on Mr GTV so I'm not far from home now, I'm just going, it's a beautiful, beautiful bridge ahead of me now. This is the bypass, look at that. How amazing is that? Hanuman, Buddha, a monk. This is coming into Temple Town, a temple area, which is called Wahoo Amonkon. That's where I chose to live. That's where my land is, in the district of Hinlek Phi. Hinlek Phi. Phi is fire, Hinlek is metal earth. Earth, metal and fire. There's no fear in fire. <laughs> There's no weakness in metal and earth. Rock solid. Iron strong. Iron clad protected. That's why I chose to live here. The energy in this particular area, the ley lines and just the sacred geometry of this district and I'm particularly in a place called Nong So, which is right at the centre of a triangle of three temples. Because I'm living by the law of control. The world's coming from me. And I place myself with this sacred knowledge, with this Gnostic information that's called occult. In the best place to enjoy a powerful life, a fulfilling life. Are you powerful? Are you being fulfilled? Are you on a mission? what I call your major definite purpose. You should be. I hope you're enjoying the view, my point of view, both by watching the traffic as I'm driving from the center of town to my project, my property. And tomorrow it's Thai New Year, April the 12th, Songkran. I talked about it in a video that's a posted, well the last video that I posted on my inbound journey, this is my homebound journey and I said that Songkran is a festival of cleansing water festival, they, a bit like a baptism where they wash you clean basically saying that the past doesn't equal the future well if you feel that the world has been coming at you and you want it to come from you, change today, 
if you have been living with the three F's, fight, flight or fear, or a combination of them, make a decision today that you can change. Make that a thing of the past. Make today your happy new year, happy new you. And if you want to be free and un 